who has done incredible things for the state of Nevada mm -hmm. and is still a champion and fighter. Uh, and uh, to have Planned Parenthood's endorsement to me is just an incredible, incredible honor. Um, because we need to do how to be able to ensure that women and children have access to health care and health care planning. This is ridiculous to me that we're still having this discussion. We want to take it away from us. So, yes, it is time to stand up. It is time to make your voices heard. And that's what I'm doing. So, um, listen, it is an incredible honor for me to also be endorsing Hillary Clinton as president. White House. Yes. She has committed to ensuring that middle class families are able to get ahead and stay ahead. She knows that we cannot sustain an economy where people at the top continue to prosper while wages for working families continue to flatline. Uh, and while too many in Washington are focused on ideological battles to defund Planned Parenthood, Hillary will focus on what Nevadans want. Comprehensive immigration reform, raising the minimum wage, ensuring women receive equal pay for equal work, and also preserving a woman's access to basic, affordable, and at times life-saving health care. That's what this is about. It is unacceptable that a woman's access to health care has become a, pol a political football. Some politicians in Washington should not be telling women in Nevada and women across the country what we can and cannot do when it comes to our bodies and our personal health care decisions. We are here today because we all know what is at stake in this election. We need an economy that works for everyone, no matter your race, your gender, or your economic background. We need to elect leaders like Hillary who will solve the problems that matter to them. Unlike representatives like Senator Cruz and mm -hmm. Congressman mm -hmm. Peck, who blindly follow party lines and contribute to the partisan gridlock that we see in Washington today. Unfortunately, my opponent, Heck, has been part of the mess in Washington. He votes with the Tea Party and the right wing of his party nine times out of ten. He's opposed to raising the minimum wage. He's voted three times against women receiving equal pay for equal work. And he wants to eliminate a woman's right to choose. Listen, for eight years, as you all know, I had the honor of serving as Nevada's Attorney General. I addressed some of the biggest problems and concerns facing the office. One of my proudest moments as Attorney General was the landmark bipartisan legislation that I led to pass sex trafficking laws here in the state of Nevada and hold sex trafficking <laughs> The hard work of many of us, and some of us in this room, to address this issue. But we passed historic reforms that increased the penalties against predators. We expanded the sex offender registry. And we gave victims the right to sue their captors. But most importantly, we gave victims the path to a new beginning, to become survivors. We work with Nevadans across the state and empowered survivors to find the courage to come forward and stand up to sex traffickers, help, helping not only themselves to find justice, but providing inspiration and support to the countless women and children who have been victims of this horrific crime. Hillary Clinton knows the importance of addressing and eradicating sex trafficking across the globe. And she has spent her career fighting for women and children who are victims of this modern day slavery. In 2000, Hillary worked with a coalition of activists and members of Congress to pass the first ever comprehensive anti-trafficking laws. As Secretary of State, she appointed a federal prosecutor to lead the anti-trafficking -traf efforts in the State Department. I know because I work with them here in Nevada. She put pressure on countries to change and enforce new laws to put an end to sex and labor trafficking. Hillary and I both know what it takes to fight sex traffickers and the importance of using every tool possible to protect 
our most vulnerable were becoming victims of this scourge on our society. And she's not done fighting on our behalf. When she launched her candidacy for president, Hillary came to Nevada and immediately focused on the need for comprehensive immigration reform, highlighting the issue that is the centerpiece of her campaign and the issue that is personal to me. Many of you know my work in this state, but you don't know that I was born and raised here. And I am the granddaughter and great-granddaughter of immigrants. My grandfather came from Chihuahua, Mexico. And it was because of his courage and the hard work of my parents that my sister and I are the first in our family to go out to college. And to me, that's what this is about. This is the battle of fighting and continuing to fight for working families and keeping families together and giving them those opportunities to succeed. I would never be standing before you today as the Attorney General of the State of Nevada and somebody who's running for the United States Senate, if we didn't allow and embrace the differences that we have in our country and helping people to succeed. And so for me, that's what Hillary understands. She understands this fight, and she will continue to make it happen and fight for comprehensive immigration reform in the state. And that's why we need her in the White House. Yes. 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 Thank you.